guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reading My Roots School Mr. Louis Cruz. Chapter 11, My Genius Idea. Okay, here's genius idea number one. Me and the guys would hold a protest rally in front of the church and stop the wedding. Mr. Louis had told us that back in the 60s, kids were always protesting stuff. He said if you didn't like something, you could protest and change the world. I didn't like Miss Daisy getting married, so the best way to stop it would be to protest. On the morning of the wedding, my mom said I had to wear a jacket and tie. What's up with that? Why do men have to wear a dumb cloth around their neck? Whoever thought of that idea should get the no-brain prize. That's a prize to give to people who don't have brains. I went to the church with my parents. Michael, Ryan, and Neil the nude kid were waiting out front. I told my parents to go inside and I would meet them in there. Okay, let's do this, I told the guys. The four of us formed a line and started marching back and forth in front of the church. Down with love, I chanted. Love stinks. No more kissing, Ryan chanted. Kissing spreads germs. Stop the wedding, Michael chanted. Girls have cooties, chanted Neil the nude kid. We were hoping other boys would join our protest, but nobody did. It was just the four of us marching back and forth. That's when Mr. Louie came out of the church. He was wearing a black robe. What's up, dudes? He asked. We're protesting against the wedding, I told him. You said if somebody doesn't like something, they should protest. Protesting against love is a bummer, Mr. Louie told us. Come inside and sit down. So much for genius idea number one. It was time to try genius idea number two. Me and the guys went in the church and sat down together. I had been, I had been to one wedding before. It was at our school when Mr. Klutz married a pig. But I don't think that was a real wedding because Mr. Klutz was already married to a human being named Mrs. Klutz. Mr. Louis stood at the front of the church. All the teachers were there. Mr. Klutz brought his wife, who wasn't a pig. Mrs. Cooney was there with some guy named Mr. Cooney. I hate him. And do you know why it smells in church? Because you have to sit in your own pew. Is it time? Ryan whispered to me. Not yet. My time was choking me and I was really thirsty. But there was no way I was going to drink from the water fountain. Mr. Louie probably put his love potion in that one, too. There was no time to get a drink anyway because some lady started playing that Here Comes the Bride song on the organ. Miss Daisy came from the back of the church and walked down the aisle with some old guy. She looked really pretty in her wedding dress. Then Mr. Mackey walked across the aisle and stood next to Mrs. Daisy. Is it time? Michael whispered. Almost. Dearly beloved, Mr. Louie announced. We are gathered here together to join this groovy couple in holy matrimony. It was time. Okay, now, I whispered to the guys, this was my genius idea. We were going to levitate Mr. Lou. If he could make him float up in the air and out of the church, he wouldn't be able to perform the wedding ceremony. Me, Ryan, Michael, and Neil the new kid all closed our eyes and tried to levitate Mr. Lou. It's not working, Ryan said. Close your eyes, I told him. It doesn't work unless your eyes are closed. This was a problem. With my eyes closed, I couldn't tell if Mr. Lou was levitating, and I couldn't levitate him with my eyes open. Is he floating? asked Michael. I don't think so, Neil said. We need more love, I told them. We kept trying to levitate Mr. Louie for a long time. I concentrated so hard that my brain hurt. When I opened my eyes, Mr. Louie wasn't at the front of the church anymore. Maybe it had worked. Maybe he had floated away. But then I saw him. He was coming over to us. Dude, he said, what are you doing? I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. I had to think fast. Uh, we're just grooving on the love vibes, I told him. I can dig that, Mr. Louie said. Give me some skin. We all slapped Mr. Rooney's hand and he returned to the front of the church to continue the ceremony. That levitation thing didn't work at all, Ryan whispered in my ear. Do you have any other genius ideas? No, I'm out. Oh, well, we tried our best. There was nothing I could do now. It was out of our hands. Mr. Looney said a bunch of lovey-dovey stuff about Mr. Mackey and Miss Daisy. He told everyone how they met in the teacher's lounge and fell in love. Do you, Mr. Mackey, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? Mr. Looney asked. I do. Do you, Miss Daisy... Take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Is there anybody here who knows why these lovebirds should not be united in wedded droominess? Asked Mr. Louis. Speak now or forever hold your peace. I looked at Michael. Michael looked at Ryan. Ryan looked at Neil. Then they all looked at me. You could hear a pin drop. Stop the wedding, I shouted, standing up. Now everybody in the church was looking at me. AJ, shouted my mother. Mr. Mackey and Miss Daisy are not in love, I yelled. They just think they are. He only asked her to marry him because Mr. Louie put love potions in the water fountain at school. Everybody gasped. That's the craziest thing I ever heard, said Mr. Klutz. Is this true? I was just driving you, AJ, Mr. Louie said. There's no such thing as love potions. There isn't? I asked. What about levitating the school? Were you driving about that too? Yeah, I was just yanking your chain, AJ. Don't flip your wig. I sat down. This was terrible. 
Do you realize what this means? If there is no love potion in the water, it means I kissed Andrea because I wanted to. It means the love machine must have been right when it said I loved Andrea. I love Andrea. Ew, disgusting. I thought I was going to die. Now I really have to run away to Antarctica and live with the penguins. I now pronounce you husband and wife, Mr. Louie said. Dude, you may kiss the bride. Mr. Mackey and Miss Daisy kissed. It was gross, but nice too. It was a real Kodak moment. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.